Russia has used its Kinzhal hypersonic missile for the first time in Ukraine on Friday. The Russian Defense Ministry said Saturday, the Kinzhal aviation missile system with hypersonic aeroballistic missiles destroyed a large underground warehouse containing missiles and aviation ammunition in the village of Deliatin in the ivano frankivsk region. Russia has never before admitted using high-precision weapons in combat. President Vladimir Putin had announced the system in an annual State of the Nation address in 2018. The Kinzhal was among several latest-generation strategic weapons that Putin said at the time could overcome any U.S. missile defenses. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the first-ever combat use of Kinzhal hypersonic missile was a message to NATO. Let's get started. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed the speeds of Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second or 3,836 miles per hour, or 6,174 kilometers per hour. Hypersonic weapons combine the high speed of a traditional ballistic missile with the maneuverability of a cruise missile, making them almost unstoppable with the currently available air defense systems. There are three methods being applied to make hypersonic weapons. One using a scramjet engine like the Russian Zircon missile. Two, through the use of hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, examples of which are the Chinese DFZF, Russian Avangard, and underdevelopment American Aero. Three, using ALBM, or air-launched ballistic missile, like the Russian Kinzhal missile. Combat use of Kinzhal marks the beginning of the hypersonic weapons era. Russia had reportedly stationed an unknown number of MiG-31K Foxhound fighter jets armed with Kinzhal hypersonic land attack missile in Kaliningrad along the Baltic coast as it prepared for the invasion of Ukraine. A video shared on social media earlier showed the fighter jet, armed with a Kinzhal missile, landing at Chiklovsk Naval Air Base in Kaliningrad, which is sandwiched between Poland and Lithuania. As per unconfirmed reports, the Russian Air Force has formed an aviation squadron with 10 to 12 MiG-31Ks. Mikoyan MiG-31 is a supersonic interceptor aircraft developed for use by the Soviet Air Forces. The aircraft was designed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as a replacement for the earlier MiG-25 Foxbat. It was designed to defend the vast northern expanses of the then Soviet Union. MiG-31 has a max speed of Mach 2.83 and has a service ceiling of 25,000 meters, or 82,000 feet. The K variant is capable of carrying the Kinzhal missile. The choice of integrating Kinzhal to MiG-31K, which would probably launch the Kinzhal from 60,000 plus feet at supersonic speed, is aimed at giving the missile much more reach than it would have if launched from the ground. The Kinzhal goes ballistic seconds after it's been launched from an aircraft, unlike cruise missiles. It reportedly has a top speed of more than 10 times the speed of sound. The missile has a range of approximately 2,000 kilometers or 1,250 miles when launched from MiG-31, but can reach 3,000 kilometers or around 1,865 miles when fired from Tu-22M3. It's thought to be a variant of the ground-launched Iskander-M short-range ballistic missile. 
The Iskander is reportedly capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 5.9 in its terminal phase and is thought to have a range of about 500 kilometers or 310 miles. Kinzhal's first stage is probably shared with Iskander and the guidance section is specifically designed for this missile. Kinzhal is also reported to be nuclear capable and able to hit ground as well as naval targets. It has a terrain matching sensor as well as an active radar seeker and is thought to be powered by a solid propellant rocket. It can carry a warhead of 500 kilograms or around 1,100 pounds. As per Russian claims, Kinzhal is capable of making rapid course corrections or otherwise flying erratically. This, coupled with the weapon's speed, makes it almost impossible to track and intercept. The combination of Kinzhal and MiG-31K is lethal, since it could be launched from unpredictable locations and its target envelope is very large. While Ukraine has several types of air defenses, there is very little probability it can intercept a missile like Kinzhal. So, with this missile, Russia can take out high-value installations of Ukraine with impunity. But the claim that the use of hypersonic missile was required due to this being a heavily armored bunker doesn't fit the logic. Russia has dedicated anti-bunker weapons, like the KAB-500L, for such a purpose. Using the Kinzhal was clearly about sending a message to NATO. Russia is making it clear that though they're facing many problems when it comes to the invasion of Ukraine, it does possess certain weapons that take a huge toll on the enemy and are virtually unstoppable. Kinzhal fired over Kaliningrad's airspace, can strike most West European capitals, including London, Paris, Rome, and probably hit them in 10 to 15 minutes. This is being used as a deterrence against any pressure tactics by the US and NATO. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.